Good morning everyone, um, today I'm at um, Bossbridge Lake Dern, well I've got one rod out as you've just seen as like a sleeper rod for um, caught for tench and bream. Um, I'm using corn and with it being autumn at the moment it could be a quiet session on the corn but I'm about to get my um, pole out which is there and then um, I'll be catching a few live baits and once I've got a few I will then um, stick a rod out on the live bait for some um, pike and even perch if they fancy it. Um, it's supposed to be quite a mild day to today so fingers crossed I can catch. It's my first session on Busbridge this season and it definitely won't be my last. Um, I've been here for around half an hour, 40 minutes, but I've only just um, got my first rod out, so I'll get back to you in an hour or so, hopefully we have a fish to show you.
afternoon everyone it's now um 12 30 so around lunch time um unfortunately this morning has been quite a stressful morning because i've lost my um spoon net as in like the net itself um i'm hoping i can find it but uh anyone that knows me will know that I worry about things like that and get worked up about it. Um, eventually I convinced myself to um, fish with my Lernet as I've only got um, two rods out at the moment. And I just want to catch something today. Well, I've caught roach. Um, I personally wouldn't count that. But it is what it is. Um, I have got the rod out on a live bait. So you can see the float somewhere around there. Um, it's like an orange... Bob, I guess I'd say. So I'm gonna have my lunch while keeping an eye on the float and see what happens from there.
Off afternoon everyone, um, the time is unfortunately time to pack up, um, it's actually 4.30, um, my dad could be here any minute to pack, um, pick me up, um, I unfortunately lost one pike, um, as you can see before this talk, um, there were teeth marks there that you can very clearly see. I'll also stick it on my Instagram and Facebook. Also as a photo on my YouTube channel as well, so you can see it. Um, unfortunately, I have not found my spoon net. I've got no idea where it is. I have had a very... Um, good look around and to say that I'm upset I, I'd i say it's an understatement to be honest um, I did manage to catch two roach and a rod um, for the live bait and then I stuck the live baits out um, and then yeah um, I don't really have much else to say but because I've lost the spoon net, unfortunately, I don't really know when I'll next be fishing at some point this year because I desperately need a replacement and unfortunately, I can't afford it. Um, I'll see if there's a way around it, but I don't really want to take my little fishing net because that means a lot to me. And then I don't really, and um, yeah. So I'll just quickly show you um, bus bridge at four thirty in the evening, and then that's over and out. So as you can see, my float is still down there; it's not moved. So that means there's no predators in the area at the moment. Yeah, so it's probably just chilling out. And then here's the swim. And also, if you do find my spoon net um, at Busbridge, please do uh, drop me a message because I'm, I'd say I'm really upset about it. Because I loved that spoon net. I've landed quite a few tench in it throughout the summer. And it was also um, a spoon net my brother got for me for Christmas last year. Um, apart from that, I hope to be back out soon. Next session might be a live baiting session though. On the river this time. Um, I was planning on barbel fishing some point next week, but that won't be going ahead because I just don't have the spoon that.